everybody. This is Cherie with Rehash Fiber and welcome to the Tampa Bay Yarn Crawl. Nine stores, 10 days, lots of fiber. We're heading off to our first store of this yarn crawl. I happen to have a wedding down at the beach right near fab fiber so we're gonna go check it out before the wedding okay you know i like adventure when i just got off at a different exit than i've ever done before for going to the beach and i thought this is pretty exciting it's a whole different exit <laughs> even though we're going to a place near the beach where i work a lot but hey i like adventure so i haven't seen this part of town and off we go to fab fiber all right pull up it is the cutest place ever pink building when I first walked into Fab Fiber, I immediately looked for the owners, Elizabeth and Deb, and we visited for a little bit and they explained some of the things that go on at their shop. And then I started just browsing around. And the thing that was most unique to that store was the beautiful embroidered images. And I had never seen this type of embroidery before. It happens to be that Deborah is a master at Brazilian embroidery. So Fab Fiber is just completely stocked with anything you could need for Brazilian embroidery. All right, you guys, that was a ton of fun. Fab Fiber, great shop. The ladies are super nice. It was Elizabeth and Debbie and they have a ton of great stuff. They offer classes there and everything. Or what's unique to them and very special to them is the Brazilian embroidery. She's got a gallery in there and it's like 3D beautiful fiber art just popping out of the pictures. It's fascinating. So <laughs> I may be learning something new. Anyway, it was great. A bunch of ladies came in. They had been um, carpooling around to different shops together. Very happy vibe in there. Caroline Tucker was in there. She's our local celebrity. She was in a magazine recently, so she and I got to chat. And I got a couple things. Now, I have two rooms full of fiber at home. It's insane. In every state of form. But anyway, the only thing I really needed, wanted, was the pin I didn't get from last year because last year I was busy with something else and not interested in doing the yarn crawl. This year I wanted to do the yarn crawl and they don't do the pins anymore. This is a pin from last year. Each store had it. So now I have a fun goal to see which stores still have some left that I can get a pin from. Okay, then, hello. You see this stick? It's a lovely stick to hold my wraps together because I've been using crochet needles nice ones wooden very pretty but i'm always afraid if i lose it i don't have that crochet needle anymore so now i've got a stick got to be careful can poke you but now i've got a stick to put my wraps together so nice little find something i didn't have we're off that was it it was great so this is going to be a super week awesome tons of fun go grab your fiber hey everybody it's day two of the Tampa Bay Yarn Crawl. We are leaving Tampa, heading for Winter Haven and gonna go see Four Pearls. I've got my friend Anna with me and we're out of here. It was great the moment we just pulled up because I had never been to Winter Haven before and we pull up into the historic part of town, which is pretty cool. When we walked through the door, we were greeted like we were truly welcomed there. Laura was at the door met us, introduced herself, told us things, showed us around. We were able to go look around and just go through all the yarn. It was great. They have a big area for teaching and they had a renowned teacher in Liz Gibson teaching a weaving class while we were there. That was really neat. Laura and JD, her husband, own the store together. And what is really special to that store, besides the fabulous yarn, I mean, that will just blow your mind, is they do bring in these top teachers from around the country to teach the classes there. 
And the other thing really special to their shop is they have a living room environment. I know how important it is to be with a group of people that are doing fiber and how much fun it can be and how much you can learn. The thing that was really fantastic is that Laura and JD's daughters started dyeing fiber and now it is a full on, full time business for them. They have beautiful dyed yarn called Emma's Yarn and they sell it in the US and the UK. And I just think, props to them, that is great. And it was beautiful. They had a whole wall of Emma's yarn and looking through it all, it was fantastic. It was great to see. And I mentioned how I was going to be looking for the little pins that they had last year. So when I asked at Four Pearls, they didn't have any left. So Laura gave me one of their store pins, really fun. So when I'm on this yarn crawl, my goal is not to go out and buy yarn, but I want to look at all the yarn and see what they have. And if something just um, calls to me or we kind of joke around at our store, um, if I bond with the yarn, then I'm just gonna get it because you fall in love with it. So this is what I found at Four Pearls. And it's just, it's like nothing I have here or have seen with little sparkles. And it makes me think of fairies. It was just really pretty. And it's almost like I've got like a little treasure from the store. While we were there, I did ask Laura about what was really interesting in the area because any of you who want to do this yarn crawl and come from somewhere else, it's always fun to know what, it, what the local person says is really cool to do. So she gave me a whole list of things. I will list that in the YouTube description. We took her up on one of the restaurants she recommended, Tempo, and she suggested a drink, maple walnut old fashioned. It was delicious. And it was a, just a really cool restaurant bar right in the heart of town, just a block from their store, across from the park with the fountain. So definitely Four Pearls and Winter Haven is a place to see. Hey everybody. It is day three of the Tampa Bay Yarn Crawl. I'm going to three stores and they're all a little bit far from me. So we are gonna go down to Inglewood, which is about two and a half hours south. Then we're gonna stop in Venice for another store and then in Sarasota and then get back up to Tampa. So here we go, we're off and running. I was the first person out of bit of yarn on Monday and uh, that was really good because I got to go in and visit with the owner, Carrie, and the associate, Rachel, and we just had a great time. And Rachel really took her time showing me around the store and telling me what is really special to that store. They have um, uh, just a lot of great yarns, and they have yarns that are made exclusively for that store, which is really cool because you can only find it there. Uh, they call it private label yarns. They also have yarn called Red Tide Yarns, and a portion of every sale goes to the Moat Marine Aquarium and Research Center in Sarasota. So you can buy yarn and you're helping a cause. Another thing they have is Earth Yarns, which is U-R-T-H. And they're having an Earth Day come up, which is a special day with all kinds of events um, to deal with that yarn. But what's really neat is for every skein that you buy, Earth plants a tree. So again, it's a very Earth-friendly store. They don't use plastic bags. They, I really like that. Um, so it was just a really nice store. I took my time, I relaxed, I did a little drop spindling in there. They had some nice chairs and it was just a relaxing environment. So it was a great experience. Okay, everybody. I just finished at the yarn store called A Bit of Yarn in Inglewood, Florida. I am on a high. It was so much fun. Let me tell you, this yarn crawl is a blast. For all you fiber lovers, imagine you're just going to the stores where there's all this yarn and fiber that you love with friendly people that love doing the same thing and you get to see new stuff. So then it's like <laughs> new things, really cool things, all different stuff kinds of stuff going on it's great okay so add a bit of yarn I found this fell in love okay just had to have it it's different texture throughout fabulous this fell in love 
it's beautiful. And I'll tell you more about this on the YouTube channel. Okay, then I was the first yarn crawler at the store today. I won the door prize, Broco Yarn. Okay. Awesome, I got a prize. I'm not even doing this for prizes. I'm just doing it to see the stores and meet the people, but bonus. So anyway, all right, busy day today. Got two more stores I have to go to. We're gonna head to Venice next, but I am gonna go up the beach and show you some pictures of the gorgeous beach that's only like a mile and a half away. So you can check it out. You have just got to see this road. It is so cool. The beach is just to my left. There's houses on the left and then the beach, but there's this lovely lush landscape all over this little street that's following the coast. It's fabulous. Okay, I tried to park at the beach, Inglewood Beach, not a parking spot to be found. So hopefully there is a spot up the road. Oh, you guys, check it out, check it out. Can you see? Oh my gosh. Gulf of Mexico, it's beautiful. Oh my God, this drive is fabulous. You're gonna love it. Needlefish is special because it's the only other store in Florida that sells Emma's yarns besides Four Pearls. They also are exclusive to Legacy Fiber Arts. Nancy's the owner, Pam's the associate, they were very friendly. We had a nice chat. Great little shop. Its location is perfect. It's right in the heart of everything in Venice. So after you've done your fiber shopping, you can step out the door and there's restaurants and shops and you can look around. And then two miles away approximately is the beautiful beach. The moment I walked in the door to a good yarn, I saw the reef made out of all types of fiber art, knitted, crocheted, felted items that made up a beautiful, colorful reef. That intrigued me for quite some time. Then I went ahead and I met the owner, Susan, the other associates that were there, and we talked for a while and I walked around the store and. It's a big store, they have a lot to offer. What is special about a good yarn is they're the only store that carries kitty bee yarn. They are beautiful colorways made from the colors and photographs in and under the water in Florida. So as my last store of the day, I did a little drop spindling just to relax and stand up before I got back in the car for my long drive home. So I kind of spindled and walked around and looked and this popped out at me because of all the beautiful colors running through it. It is going to be something very exciting to work with. So I got a treasure from that store. There you have the first half of the Tampa Bay Yarn Crawl. Thanks to the Bay Area Knitting Guild for putting this on and for all the stores that did all the special things that made it really fun. So. Stay tuned for part two in the second half of the yarn crawl.